Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the time where there was just rares everywhere in Animal Jam. So the setting takes place during September or November of 2015 and there's a thing called duplication glitch. So basically, me and a few other people, actually about eight, eight or nine people, maybe even more who just like didn't like disclose their name so they don't get like banned or anything. We were all using this duplication glitch to get really rare, really, really fast. And yeah, so we were just duplicating tons of items and we were just trading like all our duped items, like for example, spikes and glitchings and stuff for more rare items like maroon furries and beta hoods so we could collect them all. Obviously if we collected them all they'd be super rare because there wouldn't be that much in circulation but eventually that didn't really work because instead of just collecting them we just duplicated the rare items. Why? I don't know but it was it probably wasn't a good idea. So if you're wondering how the duplication glitch actually worked, it wasn't like any download or program or nothing like that. All you needed was just like Firefox or Google Chrome, just like any internet browser, Safari and stuff. And all you would do is just log on to the same account and basically you'd be on the same account at the same time. So essentially you have like doubled your items and from there you would trade them or send them over to like another account and then you trade them from both accounts and you'll just have double the items. I'm not gonna explain the full way just in case like AJ didn't fix it yet, but that's just like kind of like the summary of how it happened. So as I said before, the duping actually got really out of hand because originally we just like wanted to dupe like without anyone finding out, but then soon Zarfi or King, he told Apari like if he wanted like to give him a bunch of items for a shout out or something on YouTube and Apari was a little bit suspicious after this because previously Zarfi didn't have any items at all because he just got hacked and then randomly he's just offering Apari like a large amount of items all of a sudden and this definitely raised some suspicion and then Apari eventually figured out that we were duplicating and then from there more people figured out we were duplicating and then it was just like a big mess and everyone was angry but it should have never really got that out of hand in the first place because we were only like going to duplicate like glitch rings and spikes and beta hoods and other rare stuff but we never like intended to duplicate the really rare stuff but then we were all in a person called confections den and at this time uh it was full of just pretty much like all the rare and famous people like i'm pretty sure apari was there with sturdy moon and someone else really famous i can't remember maybe like julian too if he was on playing at the time and we were just all there just talking hanging out and all of a sudden Zarfi rolls up wearing a beta elf helmet and everyone's like okay fair enough he been like duplicating like crazy so of course he might have traded it for someone but then here's where things just got so messed up he had on his trade list two beta elf helmets instead of one and this just like raised everyone just got everyone mad because now Zarfi was duplicating the really really rare stuff and like ruining the, the really rare stuff and don't worry because beta elves are not like any like unrare they're still really really rare there's like no added ones in circulation but anyways Zarfi just had two on his trade list and then this is when like if you know who Flex is and Confection They basically made a video like recreating the duplication glitch and then they sent it into AJHQ And then obviously they put my name in it even though like I wasn't the one flaunting around all the rares And that's how I got banned actually So it was kind of unfair though because Flex duplicated as well and he didn't get banned for it So I'm not really sure what's up with that But anyways it was probably just because he told Clark or AJHQ about it and like he got like some special bonus But anyways thanks for watching everyone hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like comment and subscribe for more daily videos and i'll see you in my next video peace out